TV10 and WRNR are proud to bring you this episode of Law Enforcement Live, recorded on the 19th of January, 2021. Thank you to the Berkeley County Sheriff's Department for allowing us to give you this look into a day in the life of a law enforcement officer. This episode will feature an attempt to serve a warrant, traffic stops, and a 911 hang-up check. To all our fans watching in Germany, we here at TV10 would like to say, Dankeschön. Law Enforcement Live is filmed live with the men and women of law enforcement. All participants in tonight's show are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Viewer discretion is advised.
drinks on that uh, hood of that truck. He's he's been back oh. here secretly. Yeah, they're right there on the ground. Because I mean, there's there's a cat in there. There's cat everywhere. It smells horrible. So who's the landlord? Um, he lives right up in that brick house right there, yeah. right at the yeah. end. Yeah, right at the end across the street. Yeah, Michael White. You just want to go in and look? Yeah, I'll, I'll yeah, stay here. Okay. Well, I mean, I got no reason to laugh now. Excuse my language. <laughs> well, because we're going to try to get, I guess we're trying to get married. Mm -hmm. Because this is very insane. Like, look what his mom did. He, as far as I know, come get a stop, and he hasn't came to get it. Which I don't see him like. this this house right here. So, you've got the hair salon right there. No, and then, on the other side of that bed. Yeah. Look at all these piles that you've got. Oh, yeah. Dude. Berkeley, they are counting in the available for a road rage complaint. 60 mile marker, 81 northbound. Berkeley, what's me? Got a road rage complaint. Started at the 16 mile marker, now passing the 20 break. Uh, I'll get it as soon as I clear. I'm still on the uh, fraud. I'll get it spread. Dead one. Fifty four Berkeley, Ohio, 28. Before go ahead. So, of course, County Unit is available for an EMS assist for combative patient 419 419 Gant Drive off of Harley Springs Road. 54 Burke, I'm sitting on a team break. 154 Ben. 20 provided, Black Color Chevy Cruise, Wilson, and uh, Wing Street. So. Berkeley, County is available for you. Hello. Good. How are you all this evening? Good. Good. My name is Deputy Shock. I work for the Sheriff's Office here in Berkeley County. I'm stopping your little black ice, little tree window thing. In the state of West Virginia, it's called a window obstruction, okay? And if you think about it, when you come to, like, say, a four-way stop sign, you look left, because that's where most people look, and then they look right. If a car was first right here, and then you look left again, whenever you're about to pull back out, it could very easily be blocked by that. You get what I'm saying? Like, so we stop people for this because we, we're getting tired of working car accidents right at intersections. You get, you get, you understand what I'm saying? So it's even a lot of people will do this too on the interstate. Whenever I talk to them, I'll tell them as, as traffic's passing by, I'll just tell them to put their thumb out in front of them. And if they look, a vehicle that's 20, 50, between 20 and 50 feet away, most of it can be covered up just by your thumb. And if it's the same distance, and that little tree is way bigger than your thumb. You get what I'm saying? So can I get your driver's license, registration, proof of insurance, please? Okay, that's fine. Is this vehicle registered to you? Yes. Okay.
Is that it there? Okay. Did you just grab your phone? You can step back here with me. We'll get you fixed up, right? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. You shake hands? Yes, sir. Right, right, right over here. So, just pull up your insurance. Okay, right there. Just pull up your insurance information. I'm just going to write you a warning, all right? That's fine. I'm actually here for a job interview. So. Here for a job interview? Yeah, the new TNG plant we just put up. Oh, yeah? When's your job interview? Uh, well, I'm on my way to Denver right now. I got With it. them, and then tomorrow I have a tour. You applying for a high level job in there or what? Uh, no, just through a technician. I'm, that's why I'm from Ohio, because I was in their hiring pool for their plant in Ohio. Okay. And then, they offer me a job out here, so I'm in the contact with others. Gotcha. Give me just one second, I'll put it with you. I'll just sit on the car. That's good, man. 54 Burke, 200 Clare, Ohio, 27 Clare, Austin, Ohio. Oh, thank you. Uniform Alpha 109698. You can put your phone back in your pocket, I appreciate it. So, when did you get into town? Just about half an hour ago. Half an hour ago? Yeah, I just checked in the hotel. I got you. Where are you staying at? Uh, home garden. Right there? Like, uh, about 10 minutes away. Have to come through like, what, five, six lights kind of thing? Right. Pretty close, I got you. Who's that in the car with you? My girlfriend. Girlfriend. You all live together? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Kind of, kind of sort of. Oh, gosh. She's thinking about moving down here with you, or is she from this area? She's thinking about it. Yeah. Uh, she has to graduate from school first, and she's trying to get in the graduate program. So. Oh yeah. yeah. Where she go to school at? Ohio uh, State. Uh, Ohio State. Last Monday, a pretty sad time for you guys. Uh, I like Michigan. So <laughs> go ahead. I was happy to see it. How's that relationship then? I just keep my mouth shut because you suck. <laughs> Go ahead. Thank you, Tatch. You like this area? Lived here my whole life, yeah. What's your uh, current height and weight, sir? Uh, 510. Cool. You all sleeping in your car? See all your pillows and stuff? Uh, no, that's just for my move back home. Oh, yeah? I, I just moved back to Ohio recently. Oh, did you? Where'd you used to live? Uh, North Dakota. I just got out of the Air Force. Oh, did you? What did you do in the Air Force? Built bombs, pretty much is <laughs> oh, yeah? what it was. Yeah, it's munition system technician. Gotcha. Just so they just assemble bombs and yep. send them out. That's pretty cool. Did you have to be deployed any during your time in? or? Uh, yeah, I went over to the United Air Emirates. Oh, yeah? yeah. By area, that's that a lot cooler than it, <laughs> than it deployment usually is. Yeah, we have a bunch of guys at our sheriff's office that seem to be constantly going on deployments. Yeah, I'm in the reserves right now, so oh, yeah, I need to talk to them about how that's gonna work, see if there's any bases around here. Yeah, yeah, there's one four miles that way. Oh, really? One of the biggest ones in West Virginia, yeah. So. Take you to drive for seven hours. Seven hours. That ain't too bad. So just a day trip. Yeah. yeah when do you go back? Uh, I was gonna be go back tomorrow after the tour, but I think I'm staying next day. Check out the area. Oh yeah. Are they paying for your hotel? Yeah. All right. 
They're going to reimburse me. Gotcha. So they don't mind if it's an extra day or not? Well, I'm going to ask them about it. If not, it's whatever, it's extra hundred bucks to make a decision on. <laughs> yeah. Pretty big decision for me. Yeah, if you're moving here, I can understand yeah. that. Sun right here for me. Just a warning, no port, no finding nothing. Thanks, appreciate it. that and that back to you. All right, so this is a warning. Okay. No court, no fine, no ticket, nothing like that, okay? okay. But show my boss I'm out here working, keeping you safer right. because of the way I'll explain it to you, okay? Right. Other than that, with that copy, you can put it in your records if you so choose to, throw it away, it really don't matter. If you do move to this area and you get pulled over again or whatever, there's a good possibility it could pop up to say that you've already received a warning. Right. Okay. But, you know, it, it just be kind of is what it is. Right. All right, man. So, All right. other than that, drive safe. I All right. It. You're good Thank to you. Get.
scare you. This is how you used to drive in such a big freaking boat. <sighs> What is this, a 911 hangout? Yeah, it's a 911 hangout. They said it was pinging at this residence. Well, I shouldn't say residence, but at this uh, numerics out here off of development. So, let's see if anybody's close by or in any of the trucks or anything. Wait, is this like tanks of some kind of chemicals or something? Uh, that or fuel tanks, one of the two. Yeah, this looks like somebody might be in charge. Hey man, how you doing? Good evening, officer. Good evening. Hey, we had a 911 hang up call out here. Is everything okay? Yeah, I didn't make it. Okay. I gotcha. I, they said it came from the 1042 address right here. That's what it said it looked like, but I just wanted to come out here and make sure everything was good, so. I could have very, because it looks like it's shift changed down at P&G, so it very could have, easily could have been somebody that maybe butt dialed on their way in or their way out, but it, the ping came from here, so I just wanted to make sure. So, did you have the number it came from? No. So the way it works, like where the area code normally would be, that's where it says like 911, and the only thing I would have would be the last four digits. But literally, I'm just, I'm out here just making sure everything's good. As, as long as there's not like, you know, disturbance or a big chemical spill or nothing. Right, we're just reviewing our life points secure. So God is working here on that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Other than that, everything's normal. All right, man. Sounds like a plan. Well, best of luck to you. And hopefully you get a little compensation pay for working All right, man. midnight, sir. Be yeah. safe. Appreciate it. We'll do. So as long as everything's good, we'll be out of here. All right. Appreciate it. All right, man. Yeah. <laughs>